So in this video, I'm going to give you an example of hacking this Windows computer from this Linux machine. So in this example, I'm going to use a program called Beef, which is a browser exploitation framework. I'm going to launch it from here. And the way this works is it uses a JavaScript code to hook a target computer. And then once a computer is hooked, we'll be able to run a number of commands. Now to do that, I'm going to use a man in the middle attack to automatically inject the hook code for beef. So I'm going to use a tool called man in the middle F and I'm going to do an ARP spoofing attack. And I'm going to give him my network interface and I'm going to give it the gateway. And I'm going to give it the target IP address, which is the address of the Windows machine. Then I'm going to tell it that I want you to inject a JavaScript URL. And I'm going to give it the location where the hook code is stored. I'm going to hit enter. And that's it running. Now I know this looks very complicated. You don't know where I got the options from. All of this looks confusing. But again, don't worry about that. We're going to talk about this and go through this step by step. So it'll be very easy for you. Right now, all you need to understand is this program is going to inject the hook code. So the code that allows beef to hack into that computer into the browser of the target person so that the code will run without the person even knowing. So I'm going to go to my Windows machine. I'm going to run the web browser and I'm just going to go to any website. So I'm just going to go to bing.com. Now, if we go back to the Kali machine, you'll see that we have the IP address of the target person under the hooked browsers. And if we click on the commands tab, you'll see a large number of categories with commands that you can run on the target computer. Again, we'll talk about that later in future videos. What I'm interested in is a plugin which allow us to show a notification bar on the target computer. And what I'm going to say in that notification bar is I'm going to say that there is a new update. Click here to install it. So what this is going to do is it's going to show the target person that there is a new update. And once they install that new update, I'll hack into their computer. To do that, I'm going to have to use a backdoor. Now I've already made a backdoor that's not detectable by antivirus programs. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show you how to do that now, but in the course, you'll learn how to do that. So right now, I'm just going to say where I stored the backdoor and I called it update.exe. So that's it. That's all done. I'm going to click on execute and that will execute it for me. Now, before I go and run the update, I'm going to listen for incoming connections so that I can connect to the target computer once they try to update their computer. So again, I'm going to explain why we need to do this and how to do this in future lecture. Right now, I'm just going to do it very quickly. And once we do that, if we go on the target machine, you'll see that the, their Firefox is telling them there is, that there is a critical update. And you need to click here to install that update. I'm going to click it. And you can see that it's downloading an update file for me. I'm going to save it. Now that's downloaded for me. So if I go to my downloads, just to show you what the file look like, you can see that it looks like a normal file. It has a nice icon. If we run it, we'll actually get an installer that will update flash for us. But at the same time, this is going to execute my backdoor at the background. Don't worry about this. I'm going to teach you how to make your Trojans or your evil files look and function just like any other file. So you can have a picture, a PDF or an installer like I have in here that works like a normal file. But at the same time, when it gets executed, it'll execute your evil code in the background. So now, even though that the target person is happy, they think they're installing an update for their flash player. If we go back to the Kali machine, you'll see that we managed to get a reverse session from the Windows machine. So I'm going to interact with that computer. And now I'm inside it. So I can do so many things with the target computer. I basically have full control over that computer. And we're going to talk about all the things that you can do in the post connection section of this course. What I want to do now is I want to show you how to access the webcam of the target computer. So we're going to use a plugin that comes with Meterpreter. So I'm just going to do webcam. 
stream. I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, I managed to turn on the webcam of the target computer. So this is actually a webcam that's attached to the Windows machine. And right there, you can see me and I basically hacked into the Windows machine. I can do anything I want on the Windows machine. And I can also turn the webcam. I can inject a keylogger. I basically have full control over that machine. Now again, this is just an example of, of one attack that we're going to use. We're going to do so many more attacks like this and all of them are going to allow us to gain full control over the target system. So don't worry about how to do this attack. Don't worry about the commands. Don't worry about all of that. This is just a teaser, a simple taste of the things that you'll be able to do by the end of the course.